Grand Central Terminal, there's another terminal being created in New York City. The terminal itself consists of two underground caverns that are 60 feet high, 60 feet wide, and 1,200 feet long. The project length underground as it begins in Sunnyside Yard and runs underneath Long Island City and down to the termination point at 37th Street is approximately three miles. The rock that makes up Manhattan is primarily Manhattan schist, and there's a lot of other different types of rock mixed in with that. There's quartz, there's pegmatite, there's amphibolite. A lot of these rocks are like 20,000 PSI and stronger. That's why in New York you can build such huge skyscrapers and such deep tunnels because the rock is such a high quality, it'll support itself and everything else above it and below it. The family history in the underground industry is back to my grandfather, and then my father followed in his footsteps and he was in the underground, so I just kind of gravitated towards that. really think about what it's going to look like when it's done. The fact that it's going to take another five or six years to get to the point where you can look back and say, wow, I was part of this. If I were to leave now, it would just be kind of the end of another job. But if you get to stay to the finish and see the finished product when people are using it and it does what it's supposed to do, and that's the best part of it. <laughs>